Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Aries friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? All right, now, I've got three piles before you, past, present, future. Now, when we get to the future, remember that it's not set in stone, and it can change it at any time you so choose it, all right? Now... I also have a fourth pile here. This is all the energy between past, present, and future. I won't know where it goes. It'll either resonate or it won't. If it if it does or doesn't, do seek out a tarot reader that you trust and adore who's good on um, budget-wise, you know, so, you, so you're able to be able to get a full reading for cheap or for however much you want to spend, right, depending on your wallet. Now, I do... I do offer personal tarot readings. It's like $5 and you get the whole shebang. Yeah. Which is like your past, present, possible future. And then there's also, you know, the fourth pile and then the bottom of the deck and stuff. I don't... Yeah. I don't charge a whole lot. Um, if you want a personal tarot reading, let me know. Okay? It's like $5. I'm really cheap. Because I know that everybody's on a budget. Alright, my beautiful Aries, let's get started. Now, this is my favorite card. And I know it's I know it's stupid, but it really is. It's my favorite card. Because who doesn't want to high five from the end dead? Right, so, um, you're getting help. Getting a hand up, financial reward. But you're a bit stuck in your head. And I think it has a lot to do with this Knight of Cups right here. Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Yeah. It's player energy. Got you all up in your head. Because you want to you want to be able to come at them with a new approach. Right? Past energy. Well, I'm going to leave that there actually because I'm working my way through. Currently, you know, you've got the Leo card which is strength. You're dealing with a Queen of Swords, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, someone who's sharp tongue, unscrupulous, you name it. This queen, she um, wasn't born a queen. She didn't get her title from her mommy and daddy. She sure as hell didn't inherit it from marrying the King of, king of Swords. No, what happened was the King and the Queen of Swords built their empire from the ground up, and they decided to start their empire. And that's how they became king and queen. And that's what's going on with you. You're wanting to start your own kingdom. Now you're getting recognition for your hard work and skills. And you've got ten of cups, which is peace, contentment, and family. So you're enjoying your family while the world's going fucking nuts in the background. Because it is. It really is going nuts. And you're just... You're like me and wondering what the shit is in the water that everybody's drinking. Now, Seven of Cups, future energy. Okay, Aries, you've got a lot of options, all right? But you need to make a choice. And if you do not make a choice soon, a choice will be made for you. And if a choice is made for you, you might not like the outcome. So think about the pros and cons to everything, all right? You're in a Ten of Wands. You're struggling with responsibilities and burdens. You're um, very nostalgic. You're thinking of memories and also an old flame coming back. Yeah. Someone's coming back. Or you're thinking of them. Yeah, family, friends. I'm sorry for yawning. Oh. Doing all these readings way late at night. Musa is usually asleep by now. So, you're also in the future dealing with the Five of Cups. A loss, sadness, and grief. Okay, so someone, someone's passing or going to pass, and I'm sorry for your loss. It's hard, and you know you, uh, you know that they're watching you. And yeah, you're sad right now, but they don't want you to be sad. They want you to be happy. They want you to know that they're okay. Now you've got all these people in the background here. Who are watching you they kind of know what you're going through but they don't they don't understand what you're going through because 
we each are on our own journey and we feel similar things but we're not feeling exactly the same all right let's talk about your fourth pile here so somewhere between present past and future you are actually dealing with a five of swords you're severing ties you're just you're tired of the fighting you're dealing with a libra gemini or aquarius someone who's sharp tongue you know i'm gonna rush in i think this is your past lover but i think that you've got a king of cups and a king of swords you've got to think of this situation with a little bit more empathy but you've got a stubborn You've got a stubborn person who wants to be an asshat and not listen and think that half the story is the whole story. No, you're getting paid what you want and get and buying everything you want, but you're not really getting anything you need out of this situation. Now you do have wishes, contentment, physical, you know, I'm really tired, I'm sorry. Material, physical happiness and whatnot. So everything is coming together. <sighs> but you're feeling like you're being betrayed. And you're bored of the fucking situation. You've got a soft stalker. Someone who loves you from afar. He's a soft stalker because of his story in my tarot deck. Okay, and you're done with the hermit card. Okay, you're pampering yourself. You're not wanting to deal with any more drama. And then you got the king of hazards here. Someone who's distant, hardworking, a businessman. Someone who's good with their money but not so good with their words. And you're able to come together and sit with this person after a long period of the chaos and the bullshit. You're able to just sit. But you're on a mini hermit mode too, somewhere between past, present, and future. And you're done with the three of swords. Who I called it earlier, didn't I? Maybe that was the other one. I started the other tarot um, reading for this. And obviously I shut it off on accident. So I start over, which sucks. May go. But here's the deal. This could be one of three things. Okay, you're the you're the decider on this, all right? One, you're cheating or they're cheating. Boom. Simple, right? Not so easy, actually. Unless you've got definite proof. Number two, you're running and complaining about your spouse to your family and friends or they're doing the same thing to you. That's um, a third-party situation as well, right? Bitching and complaining and making everybody not like you or vice versa, not liking them. Third is that something is over your relationship that shouldn't be over it. Like drugs, alcohol, any form of substance abuse, porn, um, video games. Oh, bad. Oh, money or work. You get what I'm saying? So before you huck all their shit out the window and over the balcony into like a fire pit at the bottom... Like a burning 80s trash can <laughs> from Ninja Turtle World. Maybe you need to research a little bit. I mean, don't overdo it, but, you know, do talk to them. Notice which category you fit in and what's going on. Okay, you don't want to make assumptions and make an ass out of you and me. You know how that goes. Then you've got the Seven of Hazards. You've been very, very patient and getting more progress. Good job. I'm proud of you. Yeah, you're going through some shit, Aries. You really are, like, hardcore. And you don't deserve the shit you're going through. You deserve to be pampered and treated with so much love and respect. But this is how it's going. And the only way that you're going to reach Empress or Emperor mode is by going through some serious shit. And you're working your way towards that. Okay? Because you deserve the best. And right now it doesn't feel like it. It feels a little chaotic. But let me tell you something. I promise you, 
it will all pass, all right? Now I love you, my beautiful Aries. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And join me again for next time's tarot, all right? Love you. Bye, my friends.